Hi there, welcome to Ride the Bonsai and Cacti again. And in this week's episode, we're going to talk about bonsai pots. I'm going to show you a few very nice bonsai pots I just bought recently. They arrived yesterday and uh, a few days ago. And I just wanted to show you. Well, here they are. This is the first one. I'm filming this out of the hand, so I hope you won't get dizzy. But I think it's better to show you this way than with the tripod. Um, this pot is, I, I bought a few big pots. This pot is 40 centimeters long at the widest. As you can see, it's a used pot, but I don't give uh, something about that because it's good. Normally these pots are very expensive and I have to say I bought them on the internet second hand. As you see the sides are uh, one color and the front and the back. The front and the back have a sort of ornamental painting I like it a lot I have a few big trees or bigger trees I need to repot uh, uh, um, in early spring and I hope I can use some of these bigger pots for them I'm going to get the next one this is the next one this one is a bit less big than the other one. On the widest, he is uh, 30 centimeters long. I like this size too. And I show you this together with this one. This one is only 60 centimeters long, the longest side, because I bought them together. I have to say I was only interested in the bigger one but they came together and I paid for both together 15 euros so this is very very cheap let me get another new pot this is the next this one has the the, the dish which is originally a uh, sold with most of the uh, bonsai pots. It's a new pot, but I bought it from a private person. It's a very nice pot, also 30 centimeters at the longest. Nice bonsai pot. It has the feet, as you can see. And this one is glazed, bluish blue greenish color i think it's called turquoise turquoise but i'm not very sure um i like glazed pots better than non-glazed pots so um, i'm very happy with this one this is actually the biggest uh, pot i bought this one is on the longest side 43 centimeters long so it's a nice big pot it's rather deep at least deep enough so i have to say i like it a lot as you probably can see it's missing a few chips here and there um, and i knew this from the photos when i bought it um, that's also the reason why it was not very expensive um, otherwise I wouldn't have bought this pot but I like it a lot it's glazed and as I said I like 
the glazed pots better than the non-glazed. This is the last bonsai pot I bought. This one is 41 centimeters long. So it's a nice big pot also. It's a little bit less high than the brown glazed one. As you see, this is a white glazed one. I like this color also a lot. Um, has two holes in it. Seems like it has been used before, but I don't care about that. It's a very nice pot, at least, and uh, the way I see it. And I like it a lot. So I, inv I, I, I invested a little bit of money in those pots, but as I say, only a little bit, because they were all uh, rather cheap. Um, yeah, I'm not really uh, a, a real bonsai pot uh, aficionado, meaning I like the, the, the pots, but I care more about the trees. So I also have plastic pots, training pots, but um, of course I like these pots also, the, the real uh, stone bonsai pots. I only don't want to pay too much money for them. Um, so, as I said, those were all the bonsai pots I bought, and still I have two more pots to show you. How can this be, you ask? Well, because the last two, this one and the other, which is about to come, these are not really bonsai pots. This pot I bought uh, a few months ago already at a uh, second-hand store. And this is a normal flower pot, but I liked the shape. It's a bit deep, but some trees which are still in training uh, sometimes need a bit of a, bit, a deeper pot. The pot is 30 centimeters in diameter. It's completely round. And what I did is I drilled a hole in it and as you see it's completely round. It's creamish white in color. And I liked it. I have some pots, um, some some flower pots where I drilled a hole in it uh, already in use. So um, probably early spring I'm going to use this one. This is the last pot I'm going to show you. This is not even a flower pot or a bonsai pot. It's a, uh, well, something which can be used in ovens you can bake something inside of it but it's um, it can handle up until 20 degrees celsius degrees of frost so minus 20 degrees of celsius so uh, it should be okay with being used as a bonsai pot and this is just a little bit of fun but i saw this pot and it was on sale and I thought, this can be a nice pot for a bonsai. Doesn't look too bad. As you can see, I drilled one hole in the middle for, uh, for the water to flow. And two small holes so I can tie the tree in if necessary. There were no legs underneath. So... As you see, I glued three legs. This, these are the lids from um, Coca-Cola bottles. And I glued them with a heavy duty um, glue, which will hold. I, I used it in the past and this will hold. And this gives me a good height from the ground. And like this, you cannot even see uh, what the uh, legs are made of, so it's very nice. And, well, let me try. I just want to try. It's uh, something which costs me uh, uh, 3 euros on sale. 
and for three euros and ten minutes of work you cannot buy a, a regular bonsai pot for that so i'm very happy with this well this was it no more pots so those were my new bonsai pots i have to say uh, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time bye bye